Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Got a bunch of stuff to cover, a bunch of Steam sales uh, to go over. We've got some events going on, we've got some free weekends, a lot of stuff. While we don't have like a major, you know, seasonal Steam sale, we got a lot of good stuff discounted right now, so let's talk about it. Right off the top, do want to mention, I guess to commemorate the launch of the Fallout Amazon series, which by the way, is being received really well as you guys might know, I'm not a big television watcher these days, but I saw some promotional uh, material for it, and I was like, oh, damn, this actually looks pretty decent, and I might check it out. You know, uh, I say that about a lot of television series. Like, I watched the first six episodes of The Boys and really enjoyed it, and guess what? I haven't watched it since. I don't know why it's really hard for me to sit down and watch TV series. If any of you watched the Fallout uh, Amazon series and you can vouch for it, let me know, and uh, maybe you'll pique my interest a little bit bit more but I'm just really bad when it comes to television series not just television series anime as well I used to be a huge anime watcher and like never do I really watch anime these days anymore even though I really do want to and I hear good things about like so lovely let me get back to fallout fallout franchise sale run it right now fallout 76 is 80 percent off for 7.99 and on top of that the game is enjoying a free, I want to say weekend, but it's going to be running for five days, so it's a little bit more than a weekend. Now, Fallout 76, obviously a game that was a disaster when it initially came out, seemingly has gotten a lot better, so... If you want to check it out now, wouldn't be a bad idea. Also, Fallout 4 is discounted. We do have that huge free update that is coming on April the 25th. The Game of the Year Edition, 75% off for $9.99. I don't know if this is going to be a case where Bethesda is going to jack up the price of the game after the upgrade comes out. We saw that CDPR did that with The Witcher 3. Again, I don't know if Bethesda is going to do it, but just to stay on the safe side, I would probably recommend you to pick up uh, this release and the Game of the Year edition with all the DLC. Fallout 4 is what it is. Like, it's a game that had a colossal amount of hype and anticipation, and I just don't think it lived up to those expectations. However, is the game pretty good? Yeah, I still think the game is pretty damn good. Um, and a lot of longevity to it with all of the community creations and whatnot. $9.99, I think, is a pretty good buy. Uh, so check that out for the Game of the Year edition. Fallout 4 VR is $14.99. You don't hear a lot of people talk about Fallout 4 VR, uh, but yeah, that's on sale as well. New Vegas, obviously, that is like the golden child of the Fallout franchise. Uh, uh, New Vegas is like one of the most beloved video games of all time, and 75% off for $4.99. I feel like that's a new low, at least a recent new low for the game, given that a lot of the times it was going on sale for like $6.59, so... $4.99, save that dollar and 59 cents, baby, and you're getting it a little bit cheaper here. New Vegas, again, one of the goaded video games, and uh, really, for Fallout fans, this is the uh, heralded title. Even though, if you go back to 2010 and, you know, dating myself a little bit, I was a wee lad back then, but I remember when New Vegas came out, and the game was getting good review scores, like 8s and 8.5s out of 10s, but Fallout 3 was getting like 9.5s, 10 out of 10s, and... New Vegas certainly didn't get that, just because I think a lot of the rhetoric was it was a lot more of the same from Fallout 3, but if you really look at it now, uh, New Vegas is the title that everybody raves about, so definitely check out the Ultimate Edition, $5 for that is great. Fallout 3, on the other hand, 75% off for $4.99. Now, if you go to the Steam page of this game, it's got a mostly positive reception uh, because there are some issues with the game. I uh, played the game myself not too, too long ago. It was a couple of years ago at this point, but, you know, relative to when Fallout 3 came out, that's not that long ago. Um, and my experience was rather good. I believe I had to tinker around with the settings a little bit and limit, like, how many cores the game was using. Uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta jump through some hurdles or potentially jump through the hur uh, some hurdles, but to play Fallout 3, I would still say that's kind of worth it, man. Sometimes, you know, stuff like that is an annoyance, but... $4.99 for Fallout 3 Game of the Year, I still think is fantastic, so I would say go check that out, you do have the classic titles on sale as well, you know, Fallout is in fact a franchise that didn't start with Fallout 3, there were some other titles uh, during the yesteryear, but nevertheless, Fallout 3, obviously, the game that took it to a new level. Moving on from that, there is a BAFTA uh, Awards 2024, I don't even know if this is a sale, only some of the games are discounted, like Star Wars Jedi Survivor is listed for animation, but it's still $70, as is Hogwarts Legacy, that's 50% off for $29.99. 
$19.99 in Hi-Fi Rush. 30% off for $21. Hi-Fi Rush is awesome. It has been holding up in price given that this game is 15 months old at this stage of the game, but the game is absolutely tremendous, so... You know, for $21, I would still recommend it. You have Cocoon, 30% off for $17.49. That was actually done by people from Playdead. Uh, so, you know, 30% off was received really well. Overwhelmingly positive across 4,200 reviews. It's a game I've been meaning to play more of for a while. It's one of those games that's going to be eternally in the backlog. At least not, hopefully not eternally, but it'll be in the backlog for quite a while with all the other games that I'm playing right now. But, uh, yeah, you've got that. You've got Dredge, 30% off for $24.49. Uh, and uh, some other deals are there as well. Check it out for yourself. Again, not everything listed is discounted, which is a little strange. Inscription is 40% uh, 40 off for $14.38. That's pretty good. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima is also listed in it. So, yeah, take that for what you will. You've also got the digital showcase for I Games. A lot of cool announcements as a part of this. We had the Rogue Prince of Persia. That is being done by the developers that brought you, um, what's it called? Dead Cells, Evil Empire. So that hopefully will turn out pretty well. Kind of interested by that game. Art style looks really, really slick. So hopefully that does turn out well. Uh, Never Alone 2 was revealed. Uh, Rakugaki. I don't know if I butchered the pronunciation, but that game looks awesome. Slay the Spire 2, of course. That game looks, I mean, it's Slay the Spire. It's a sequel to Slay the Spire. It should be pretty great. So hopefully that turns out well. And of course, you've got discounts for various games running right now as well. Risk of Rain 2, uh, Brotato is on sale. Um, you got a lot of other titles. Broken Roads just came out, although that game is getting a little bit of a mixed reception. Mostly negative right now. Power World 10% off for $27 as well, so check that out. Uh, one final deal that I do want to mention. Don't Not Entertainment and Focus Entertainment's Vampire is 80% off for $7.99. This is a game that I really enjoyed and didn't get a ton of love. Is it perfect? Is it a big-budget AAA action RPG? Absolutely not, but... Is it an enjoyable game for $8 that has a great atmosphere, a pretty good story, good voice acting? Yeah, and it shines in the elements that Don't Nod typically shines in, in terms of creating a solid atmosphere, creating a pretty good story, albeit the ending isn't the best. Pretty likable main character as well, and a lot of twists and turns to the game. Again, the gameplay isn't anything to write home about, and honestly, it's a little bit clunky on that end, but it's one of those games that I feel like is going to be forgotten about over time. Came out about six years ago. And, uh, yeah, for $8, I think it's a pretty damn good deal. And one of those games, again, I want to give it a little bit more shine just because it doesn't get a ton of love, but uh, obviously not one that you want to spend full price on. And I ended up dropping 50 bucks on the game. It absolutely was not worth $50, but at a budget price point of $7.99, definitely something I think you can sink your teeth into. But that is going to do it for me. Again, a ton of Steam events and sales. Fallout franchise sale with Fallout 76 free to play. By the way, if you guys care, PGA Tour 2K23 is free for the weekend as well if you do want to check that out uh the indie event the BAFTA event as well a lot of cool announcements with the indie event and vampire wanted to give a shout to that at 7.99 that'll do it for me let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below as always thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting, but as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.